Hi, my name's Damara and I'm going to be reading you Truth Testament number 27 out of the 42 channeled messages that were given to me um, in the last year. Um, as usual, I'm going to say to you, if you want to let these messages resonate deeper into your energetic body, then just close your eyes and listen to the sound of my voice and not the words. And um, you have a deeper connection with the message in that way. Um, another thing I was going to say is I've been, I think I have about 60 odd um, videos that I've put up in the last two months and um, the candles I always light fresh each time I do a video and there's incredible things that happen to those flames at one point they came out as horizontal torches which is just amazing I can't remember they even seem to be responding now um at, at another point they rounded off and they were like as if I had artificial round bulbs onto those. That, those are wax and wick candles. <laughs> and another time there was a flame, and I don't know, it, the flame on one whole video I did recently comes out of this wand that is on this, um, the second book that I channeled that was uh, received in the 1990s. Uh, it's a really interesting book. It's called Book of Secrets. Um, and it is still available on Amazon under my name, actually, Linda Jocelyn, J-O-S-L-I-N. But, um, yeah, at this point, um, throughout this one, I must look to see which video it was now. I couldn't believe it when I played it back to see if it was okay. But the flame came out of the end here. Um, and in, there is no way that there is a flame there. But anyway, I digress. Let us carry on with this truth testament. But all of these things happen like sometimes some noise happens and you know that it's coming to confirm the point that you've just read on the channeling um and energy is such a phenomenal thing and i really think that our major part of education should start with energy when we're at kindergarten you know start at with energy as as our parents talk to us um but then they didn't know about it either, did they? So, but hopefully this, the new earth we are birthing is going to be completely different. And according to the, uh, I think it's number 42 on the truth testaments, which is already up, but it is a phenomenal truth testament because it was the last one before they started giving me the sacred texts. And in the foot number 42, they tell us about how we're going to be birthing babies in a completely different way as we go into the new earth that we are creating. So that's going to be really exciting. And that they don't really require any education except for guiding with the energetic forces and their own technology. So it's going to be an interesting time. Number 27. We are watching over all of you now. We are very pleased with those that are reaching now further forward and operating from much more on a soul level. This is because they are using our processes, they are trusting us more, and we appreciate this. We cannot come down and be in the rooms with you as your physical friends, but nonetheless, we are your friends. We give you our wisdom, our knowledge, so that you may become the ones you are waiting for, the ones you have always been waiting for. This is not a message of hope. It is a message of true knowledge. True knowledge is when you allow yourselves to stretch and move forward using the disciplines that you know are working. These disciplines are not just for use when you feel you are slipping backwards or staying still. These disciplines are at their best when you are constantly moving forward, knowing more and more of your real selves. One of the messages that we need to give today is one that will allow you to become more appreciative of your resources. The resources that abound on planet Earth are all reusable in some way. They do not need to be exhausted. All resources can be recast, reinvented, so that they can either be reused or changed into some other element. There is so much more that you need to know. 
One of the myths is that the Earth domain will run out of resources. That is not true. All resources will keep reinventing themselves, even the resources that are made deep within the Earth. There was never one level of abundance of any of these resources. This does not mean that you can carry on misusing the resources. As you become bolder in your outlooks, as you become more inspired by your own natures, true natures, you will become more and more in love with nature that affects and gilds your world. This gilding was once revered and respected, but as technology and science took over, the whole spectrum of your earth space nature became something on the back burner, something that was taken so much for granted. Within the spirit of nature is the spirit of the earth plane. It is not just magma, clay and water. It is the habitat of a force. That force is nature. This energy spirit is the source of your life on this amazing earth domain. We speak now in terms of domains, for we have said that it is not entirely the shape and construction you, that your world instructs you that it is. If we carry on using words that have been falsely attributed, then we are securing the illusion, illusion more intently into place. You will have noticed that when we speak of time, we use this only so that you comprehend our words to you, but do not stand by its meaning in our own perception. When you have your full perspective of dimensional living, dimensional existence, then you will perceive also how words can tie you down into a lesser reality, a denser reality, so we begin the transformation also by allowing you to see beyond the concepts of the earth language and the earth lack of expression of true reality. It is with much sadness that we say that there have been many deaths, many transferring away from earth after the, large, the last major release of blocked energy along the lines which were interfering with the final cleansing actions. These people that have left your plane will transfer after the arrival on the other side of earth reality to where they can transcend their earthly traits and begin the movement back to their dimensional transition state base. There is a base that serves as the holding station for all those that suddenly leave the earth plane. There are several bases that assist when people that have completed their earthly terms leave this earth domain and need to transition back to dimensions that give them the scope of their required sp spiritual capacity. We do not wish to go into much detail, but there are many ideas that circle in your religious circles and atheist circles which do not line up with any of the required actions when you leave the earth domain. As you know, progress in your own transitions into more full acceptance of what you are capable of and who you really are, we are able to expand your progression more by allowing you information of the after-death areas of existence. Sorry, I'm, I need to read that again. I actually mistranslated one of these words here. As you now progress in your transitions into more full acceptance of what you are capable of and who you really are, we are able to expand your progression more by allowing you information on the after-death areas of existence. These are not in any way cham chambers of the horror thoughts some of your religious groups expound. All bases that are open to receive those who are transitioning are good healing abodes or dimensional spaces which help you to move on to the next area of your reality. You can allow yourselves to heal fast or slow. This is always under your own control. You are all sovereign beings in any other reality than Earth. This will be the surprise for all of you, whether you transition while still in the human physicality or you transition after you leave the Earth domain. It is all good and is all healing. 
What we would like to say is that if you transition while still in the human body and human physicality of the earth domain, you will be completing the evolution of the human race to the next level. This is unusual and has not been attempted before this time. This is pure evolution of humankind into the soul-bearing human, one who is in complete triad capacity of spirit, mind and body activating from this holy trinity. Higher mind, higher soul activation and higher frequency body. Those that are still expecting to be ascended from the earth domain will be disappointed, but will need to play catch up now and complete their own ascension passage while still on this physical earth domain. It is not difficult to complete the tasks required. As soon as you have put the disciplines into place, you will begin to advance in your physical structure, your physical senses, and your physically less emotional selves. The higher the frequency, the quicker the ascension process takes place within the fields of the earth domain. We are assisting this with our own intervention of allowing the higher frequencies to flow within the earth plane. The cleansing that is still happening and will carry on for the foreseeable future is to allow the higher frequencies to be held in place and not begin to dissipate. If you are resonating in a higher frequency, then your surroundings need to be activated on a higher frequency as well. This was always the plan. It is not one that will be changed it was your destiny from the beginning of this incarnation of your earth domain. It was a task that you willingly undertook and have been playing your part ever since the beginning of your time here. Will you now agree to this contract that was first made before your descent into matter? When you take back this contract in true consciousness now that you are incarnate here, it will help you to discipline yourselves away from the more emotional attachments of the earth field. The emo emotional attachments here on earth are not your true attachments. They are constructs of deeper soul co contracts that you have had through many earth assignments. These deeper soul contracts will never leave you. Only the emotional attachments that have been held within your emotional fields will dissipate, leaving you with the real soul connections. We leave you now with a saying that will help you to have a central connection to what is required. Be not what you think you are. Be what you truly are. It has always been the out of control mind, the lower mind, which has held you back. Take back the power, the control and bury this forever. Dig the hole deep because it is its own power source of unconscious betrayal. Right, I'm going to read that bit again for myself as well as for everybody else. It has always been the out of control mind, the lower mind, which has held you back. Take back the power, the control and bury this forever. Dig the hole deep because it is its own power source of unconscious betrayal. Right, we're talking about the mind there, which is so true. And meditation is your um, in secret ingredient to help you to become master of that mind. And bury it deep in the earth. When the people of the earth listen to the higher mind, the seat of their soul, we see the earth glow and this glow will bring about the involvement of the next race of truly aligned humans. And I just want to point out here, this that is the end of um, number 27. But when they actually put Hugh man and don't join it together what they're referring to there and it is um, given to me that way so I type it as two separate words Hugh man and the Hugh for those who don't um, comprehend this is that it is the the Hugh is the heart we are the man of the heart um, and the Hugh is the sound 
that we can sound as a mantra to activate our hearts, to cleanse and heal our hearts. Um, so thank you for listening to number 27 on the Truth Testaments. Um, I'm going to ask that you subscribe so that we can get this information out to the wider world so that more and more people get to listen to what is actually being asked of them, to remind them, because this is not new information. We all have a soul contract to be here at this time and to actually awaken and start to activate totally from our soul connection. But it is words like these words, which are very precise. There is no romantic woo-woo language around any of the stuff that I channel, and there never has been right from the beginning, from the first book, the um, two books that were channeled in 1991 and went out um, and were published in 1994, I think that was. Um, but it has to be this way. If they give it to us with this resonance of no hiding, no decorating it, no making it less than it is, then our souls hear the words in the right way. And that's why I say to people, if you want to listen in a really um, succinct way, then listen to the sound of my voice rather than trying to understand the words because you have no need at all of understanding these words. What you're looking for, if you've been drawn to these channelings, you're looking for the activation and it is there always. But we need to get it out to more people and, and I have to go by this technology, which I don't really understand, but I know that what others say is that you need the subscriptions, you need the likes, you need everybody to listen totally to the end of each video because that all affects the algorithm. <laughs> so we are still part of this earthly technology, although what we're really doing here is activating our human technology. And I'm going to leave you with that. So subscribe and like and comment if you wish. I will always answer um, questions if you ask me. And if I know the answer or can point you in that direction, thank you again.